In the book of Genesis, we read about the many layered promises of God to Abraham and Sarah, to Rebecca and Isaac, to Jacob and Rachel and Joseph. But then we turn the page a hundred years or several hundred years and enter the book of Exodus where the landscape has drastically changed. Our scripture for today begins in Exodus chapter 1. Hear now God's word to us today. A new king arose over Egypt who did not know Joseph. And he said to his people, Look, the Israelite people are much too numerous for us. Let us deal shrewdly with them, so they may not increase. Otherwise, in the event of a war, they may join our enemies in fighting against us and rise from the ground. So they set taskmasters over them to oppress them with forced labor, and they built garrison cities for Pharaoh, Pithom, and Ramses. But the more they were oppressed, the more they increased and spread out, so that the Egyptians came to dread the Israelites. The Egyptians ruthlessly imposed upon the Israelites the various labors that they made them perform. Ruthlessly, they made their life bitter for them with a harsh labor at the mortar and bricks and with all sorts of tasks in the field. The king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrews, Hebrew midwives, one of whom was named Shifra and the other Pua, saying, When you deliver the Hebrew women, look at the birth stool. If it is a boy, kill him. If it is a girl, let her live. The midwives, fearing God, did not do as the king of Egypt had told them. They let the boys live. Then the king of Egypt summoned the midwives and said to them, Why have you done this thing letting the boys live? The midwives said to Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women are not like the Egyptian women, they are vigorous, and they give birth before we can come to them. And God dwelt well with the midwives, and the people multiplied and increased greatly. And because the midwives feared God, he established households for them and gave them families of their own. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. 